Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Desi. And today we're going to teach you how to use manual mode with the Canon 7D. So in manual mode, there's four main things you have to look out for. Aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and weight balance. So now that you're all grown up, you can use manual mode. That's the switch that says M over here. Instead of having the camera automatically choosing the settings for you uh, based on your environment, now you can choose your settings yourself. This allows for a more creative take on uh, what you want to do. So the first one we're going to go over is aperture. Aperture is the amount of light that the camera actually lets in. So on this camera, it's controlled by this dial right here. Uh, which goes from 22 to 4. The lower the number, the more light the camera lets in. So the next thing we're going to talk about is shutter speed. Shutter speed is the amount of time that your shutter is open for during each frame. Overall, shutter speed controls the brightness and the blur of your video. So the way you adjust the shutter speed is by this dial right here. Now, by turning it this way, you're going to make the shutter speed higher, and turning it this way will make it lower. With a higher shutter speed, say, 200 as it is right here, you're going to have a darker image and less blur. If you have a lower shutter speed like 40, then you're going to have a brighter image with a more blur. Typically though, you want to keep your shutter speed at twice the frame rate. For instance, if you're shooting at 30 frames per second, you'll want to keep your shutter speed at 60. So let's test it out real quick. Next up is ISO. ISO, basically what it does is digitally adjusts the brightness of your image. To change the ISO, you're going to need to use this button that says ISO right here. To actually switch the ISO, uh, use this dial. Uh, as you can see, the image is getting a lot brighter. One side effect of making the ISO higher is that it actually causes a lot of noise, meaning your image is going to be a lot grainier. Uh, you'll see a lot of blue and red dots all over the place. Typically, uh, you want to keep your ISO below 1000. Anything above that is probably too much. Hey, Desi. Desi, you okay? Desi, Desi. Desi, Desi. Desi, you okay? Desi, you okay? So the next thing we're going to talk about is white balance. Now, white balance controls the color temperatures of your image. It controls whether the white in your image looks more orangey or it looks more bluish. So the way to adjust white balance is to press this button right here that says WB. And then you'll see a bunch of options right here. Right now, this one's set to daylight. You can set it to shade, cloudy, tungsten, a whole bunch of different options, and auto. As you scroll through the white balance options, just find something that looks most natural to you. So this one, I like daylight. Thanks for watching this tutorial about manual mode. Good luck with your projects, and see you next time.